that also taught me never to wear color on the red carpet. Every time I wore color, I got lambasted. Okay, so let's walk through some looks that you and your mom have worn on past red carpets because I would love to hear you reminisce about them and hear the amazing memories you have attached to these looks. So tell me about this look and this night. Oh God, jogging my memory. So my mom was in this beautiful red gown. I couldn't, I don't remember who it was. I want to say it was either Vera Wang or Pamela Dennis. Mm -hmm. And the color, the fur, everything. And my mom always could pull off those high necks. Yeah. She would always could stand very straight and stretch. Mm -hmm. And it just, and her shoulders were so great. And it was just this beautiful, very diva. Mm -hmm. You know, as my mother would say like, yes, I'm here. <laughs> kind of moment. Mm -hmm. This old thing. Oh, I was wearing Pamela Dennis. And um, again, it must've been a trend. I had a collar thing going. My dress was very edgy at the time. And totally open in the back, totally open in the back. Would you typically coordinate your looks or mm -hmm. pick things, or you just went with your gut and then? Went with our gut. You know, I would know what she was wearing and she would have lots of comments when I was picking a dress. We didn't always end up on the same one. <laughs> she would have a lot of opinions on what I was wearing and, you know, but there was never any kind of coordination. This was actually a Globes after party, but you guys are sort of perfectly matching. My mom actually had a picture of me in this dress uh, in her apartment for years. And I'm laughing and it's like sideways. This dress, this picture is not good of it. It was beautiful. So I picked that dress and I was on the red carpet and two different actresses came by and said, I almost picked that one. Oh my God. I, and you realize we're all picking off the same racks. This might be my favorite, the sequined coat with the fur collar. That was really when she started getting into that look. My mom loved sequined coats. She loved big collars. She felt like it set her off beautifully. This also was one of my favorites. The, the slip dress underneath was like this very sort of gold, pinky, beigey thing. And that gold coat was phenomenal. It's so phenomenal. good. The thing is, I learned a lesson in this one also. This dress, which I took so much for, unbearable, photographs terribly. It was so pretty in person. Um, the I think whole, it's pretty in photos. Now, but then it wasn't. The <laughs> whole neck was all turquoise beading wow. in that color. And the bottom half was so sheer and just again, that very illusion layers of color. Black gown with fur from 2005. I loved that dress with the heavy embroidery. Yes. It and probably was physically heavy. If I remember correctly, this dress was physically heavy. My mom had, to the very, very end, really pretty shoulders. So as she got older, she's like, I need to come up with ways to still look fresh and current and not covered up but age appropriate. She always felt um, that this was the prettiest part of her. She loved a good earring. So it also showed off the earrings. This, that might I add, would be perfect for a Zoom awards show. She would have rocked I, it. it. Ideal. Also that gold coat would have been perfect for a Zoom show too. Did your mom ever wear Spanx herself? And what were her thoughts on the shapewear situation? My mother wore Spanx before they were cool. <laughs> loved them. She's like, first of all, you know, she comes from a generation where proper undergarments made your clothes look better. Nobody wanted, it was all about how your clothes look, not that you could see through them or whatever. So she was a huge fan of shapewear, huge. And it's true, when you have a proper base layer, your clothes hang better. So our last look is a white gown from 2006. I loved this dress on my mother. Again, the coat, and you can't really tell this, the coat was lined in white. And then the lace on the dress was black. And again, showing the chest, the big earring. I loved, loved, loved this outfit on my mom. The hair, the makeup, everything was perfect that night. But she put a lot of time and effort and thought into what she was wearing. 
Yeah, I wonder almost if like, and this applies to you too, your, your line of work, did that sort of perpetually keep you like raising the bar for your own looks as well? Yeah. Um, for your own biggest critic, right? Well, biggest critic, but you know, my mother was always very, um, you know, over the top glam. And I think that's very often why I went a little bit the other direction. But it's funny, I look at those dresses now and I think to myself, God, they were really good dresses. And at the time, two of them, the orange and then the floral, I got killed for.